these are anti-cheats, but most of them barely do anything. Just because it says anti-cheat enabled doesn't mean you're safe. If you played games like Rust or Escape from Tarkov, you know most of them aren't even looking where they should be. Most of the time, they need actual admins watching you in game to catch anything. So, can you hurry up and ban me? Most anti-cheats run in user mode. Same level as your game, your browser, Discord, almost everything else you use. But good cheats run deeper, in kernel mode. That's the core of the operating system, with full access to everything. If your anti-cheat is in user mode, and the cheat is running in kernel mode, it won't be able to detect it. It literally can see it. When a cheat is in the kernel, it can spoof memory, hook functions, hide processes, and the anti-cheat can detect any of it. The user level can see what's happening at the kernel. So if your anti-cheat isn't running there, it's useless. Some games do run kernel level anti-cheats, like Valorant with Vanguard. They boot with their system, scan drivers, and monitor low level stuff. It does sound solid. It's definitely better than user mode but it still gets bypassed. There are kernel cheats made specifically for these anti-cheats. Custom drivers, mapped without signatures, full spoofing. Same layer, just more advanced. And yeah, Vanguard runs fine now, but not every dev can build something that deep without breaking stuff. That's why most stick to user mode. Easier, safer, and less backlash. Let's be honest. Most bans are just hitting the obvious people. Public cheats, bad injectors, stuff that's already flagged. They don't ban the people running private builds, mapped drivers, spoofers and proper loaders, those stay under the radar. So yeah, the anti-cheat works if the cheater is bad at cheating. The only thing that actually works long term is behavior based detection. Not what cheat the player is running, but how they are playing. Insane reaction time, flawless tracking, movement that doesn't match real input, that's how you catch real cheats. But that kind of system takes time to build, it costs money, it's complex, so most games don't even bother. Most anti-cheats don't stop real cheaters, they just catch the obvious ones. If you want a breakdown of how cheats bypass detection, or how people actually stay undetected, I'll cover that next. Don't forget to subscribe if you learned something new. See you on the next one. Bye bye.